there are an awful lot of reality television shows out there. Now, what would happen if instead of you competing for a new record deal, for fame, for money, maybe you're trying out for a new job, instead of that, the prize was that you get to live. My next book is called The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. And it's the story of Katniss, who lives in District 12. And today, first day of the book, is the reaping, which is a day of remembering when over 70 years ago, the 13 districts rebelled against the government. Now, the rebellion was unsuccessful. They were squashed. And the 13th district, as a lesson to the rest, was completely destroyed. And now every year on the reaping, Two teens are selected at random from each of the districts, a boy and a girl, and they are sent to the city to compete in the Hunger Games. Once they get to the capital, they will receive a team of stylists, of fashion designers. They will become overnight celebrities. They'll eat food that they've never even been able to imagine. They will be treated like stars. They will get uh, all sorts of training. And then they will be put into an arena specially designed for them and the 24 teams will compete in a battle to the death. The winner will get fame, fortune, and food, something that's very scarce in these times. The losers will be shipped home in boxes. Katniss has been through several reapings without being called and she's not so much worried about herself this year as she is about her 12 year old sister named Prim. This is the first year that Prim is eligible to be called for the reaping, and Katniss just can't let her sister go. But her name's only in the drawing once, so what are the likelihood that she gets pulled? And of course, Prim's name does get pulled. So Katniss does the only thing she can. She steps forward and volunteers to take Prim's place. If she ever wants to go home to see her friends and her family again, she's going to have to compete and kill 23 other teens in the arena. One of those will include Pita, a boy who helped her and her family many years ago when they were on the brink of starvation. Pita's a nice guy and Katniss doesn't have anything against him, but she's just not sure that he can trust him, even when he offers help for her to win in the arena. Is it a plan for him to be able to go home or does he really mean it? This is such an exciting story. It's got all sorts of survival. It will take that reality television show to the next level. It's one that you just can't put down. It also has an exciting sequel following it called Catching Fire. And next year, there will be a third book coming out. This is a can't miss book that would work for both boys and girls who like a lot of adventure, maybe a little romance, and to see what happens when reality TV goes so, so wrong. That's The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins.